hey you guys and welcome back to another video i thank you guys for tuning in oh yes and we have reached 200 subscribers so thank you so much i'm extremely i'm extremely grateful and extremely excited and i appreciate you guys for subscribing to my channel liking my videos commenting interacting in any way shape or form if you have me on tiktok and then you found me here or you have you found me here and you found me on tiktok i appreciate it all okay um i just want to first start off by saying i love you guys and i love and appreciate you guys support so thank you times a million okay i can't wait to repay you guys in any way shape or form that i can um so before we get too deep in this video you already know what the title is and the title is quote unquote boys don't cry um but before we do get into the video i do want to say our affirmations for today and today's affirmation will be I am the master of my own destiny. Um, and I love this affirmation because I feel like in a world today where we are very influenced by a lot of different things, we are either influenced by social media or religions or friends or family or this or that. And I think a lot of times people really get um, their power manipulated when they are extremely influenced because you being a human is an extremely powerful thing okay if you really i'm a spiritual person if you're not spiritual i understand uh you might have people who are more religious or more spiritual um like i said i am spiritual but through spirituality you really understand and learn to tap into your power as a human being and you can understand that you can literally manifest the life that you want even wherever you are in life right now whatever your reality is <laughs> without you even knowing you have created this reality and i think that's something that's extremely important for us to know because it really you know gets you to understand that you are in control that you are in power of your life stop let me not say stop but don't give your power or your influence to something else um and i don't want to get too deep into that because i can really make this into a whole different video but I do really want you guys to understand that you are literally the master of your life. You are the master of your destiny. And once you really understand that and not only understand it, but believe it and study it by studying yourself, you can make your wildest dreams come true and even more. You can move mountains, okay? I am the master of my own destiny. Now, let's get into the video. So... I wanted to talk on the topic boys don't cry because this is something that you know it's very disheartening you know because boys do cry you know why they cry because they're human and it is okay i don't think people understand i don't think parents understand or even men of fathers understand that when you condition your child right because i think there's even some parents out there that tell girls like oh big girls don't cry you know, or, you know, put your big girl panties on. Big girls don't cry. Big girls don't get sad. Big girls don't. And yes, they do. I'm here to tell you right now. Okay, I get sad sometimes. I cry. And that's okay. Crying is nothing but your body releasing whatever it is. Okay? Like, I want people to stop looking at crying or being emotional as a negative cognitive okay because there's nothing wrong with crying in your body releasing its emotions releasing the stress releasing whatever it is that it's holding inside okay um because even with that saying right boys don't cry or big girls don't cry it's kind of like saying whatever you're feeling that is making you want to cry you shouldn't feel that way and so you need to suck it up and go about your day and just imagine what that does to a child, how that conditions a child's mind. That really conditions, him, conditions them to believe, okay, the authentic feelings that I feel that I have that makes me feel whatever way that I do feel, I shouldn't be feeling that way, you know? I, I shouldn't be feeling that way because I should be feeling this way or I should be feeling that way. When at the end of the day, no one, no matter how young or how old, should be telling anyone how to feel about anything because every single person is entitled to their feelings. End of discussion. It doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if you understand why they feel that way or not. And even if you don't understand why someone feels a way, 
doesn't mean that you have to feel away with them. You understand? I think sometimes people don't even want you to feel sad or be mad because they feel like if you're sad or mad, they have to be sad or mad with you. Or if they're happy, they have to be happy with you. And no, you don't. Just respect other people's feelings, you know? And that's how you create this cycle of stripping away these children ability to empathize with others right because empathizing is understanding someone else's feelings well how can you understand someone else's feelings when you really don't understand your own right if you're grown up being told boys don't cry big girls don't cry all these other things they're going to then conjure up all the energy that they do have to not feel what they are truly feeling they're going to use all their energy to just ignore their own feelings to tend to 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 cater to someone else's because they feel like they shouldn't feel the way that they feel they should feel how you feel you understand and how can someone even understand how another person is feeling when they don't understand their own once again that's when emotional intelligence starts to deplete because you just have a lack of understanding of feelings, you know? And so I think we should really stop telling children or just people in general that big boys don't cry or big girls don't cry or like just making this, just making this, you know, point of view that it's it's not good to cry. Like if I tell someone that I cried, some people that I would tell that I, that I cried to, they'll be like, oh, like, well, like, why are you crying? But not why are you crying? Like, you know, like, oh, like, why are you crying? You know, like, what's going on? But more so, like, why are you crying? Like, what's wrong with you? You know, when there's really nothing wrong with crying. Crying is just literally, like your, like I said, your body is just releasing hormones. And that's great because we shouldn't want to hold them inside. If your body feels like it needs to release something, allow your body to do what it naturally needs to do. Crying is not a negative thing. It is a natural thing that everyone should have the ability to do so. Because I don't even think people understand, especially when it comes to both men and women. Let's just say both men and women. Um, but especially, okay, let's, especially men. Um, because it really affects their relationships, right? If he don't understand his own feelings, how can he understand yours? How can he understand yours and then be able to express himself when it's needed? You know, how, how, can, he, how can he do so? You know what I'm saying? Like, how how can a man really express himself to you and be authentic with you when he can't even be authentic to himself? Because for the longest he had been told being authentic to himself is, is a negative thing. You understand? So it just creates that cycle of like, it starts from when you're a kid and then it gets into your relationships. And then if you have kids in your relationships, you as a parent can't even understand or can't even build a connection with your children because you can't understand them because you don't understand yourself. And that's where that confusion comes in where you're like, oh, well, I don't know. Oh, I don't know if I feel this way. I don't know if I feel that way. That's what happens when you get older, right? As you get older, all this fear, this anxiety, these negative thoughts start to conjure up in your mind from things that you were conditioned to as a kid. Because when you're, when you're a kid, when you're a baby, you know, for a few years, you are very pure, you know? There is no fear, you know? Um, you know, the world is literally at your oyster. As you get older, you get conditioned in many different ways and shapes and forms that just get into your subconscious mind that holds you back from your full potential. You understand? And so you start to get older and you start to, you know, have these authentic feelings, but then you kind of like play with yourself like, oh, well, maybe I shouldn't be feeling that way. So I'm confused. You know, should I feel this way or should I feel that way? Or, you know, how do I really feel? And all these other things, there could be so much noise in addition to, you know, you already feeling confusion within yourself because what you have, what you know authentically, and the, but then how you were conditioned, um, which was opposed to your authentic self to where it's like, you need to at one point, shut all the noise out get in tune with yourself focus on yourself under focus on really understanding yourself studying yourself so that you can build that emotional intelligence all over again so that you can not only understand yourself but understand others and it will help you build great relationships great relationships that actually have depth and empathy involved because i even think i've seen a video recently it was a girl and she said, you know, um, men can like forget each other's birthdays and um, 
all these, all these other different things. She was just basically explaining that men lack a lot of depth, you know, and I feel one of the reasons is because they are told that they're not supposed to be these emotional beings in tune with their feelings. When at the end of the day, I don't know how many times I can stress this enough, men are human just like women plain and simple and one of your biggest assets is being in tune with your emotions to understand other human beings because you want to build great relationships and good connections i'm pretty sure as a male you want to have a great relationship with your mother your father your sister your brother whoever you know you deem as family and who's really close to you and who is supportive of you and then you know when you have kids and you, or you have a wife you want to be able to connect with them and be there for them on a more intimate level versus just surface based things you know like any other human would is just longing for real connection and that's why a lot of people even walk around here feeling mis very misunderstood because a lot of times they don't even understand themselves they're confused themselves and I, I get it when you are taught and conditioned that you shouldn't feel one way when you feel one way yeah I, I understand especially as a kid when you know you look up to your parents kind of as you know heroes or you know the most important thing in your life or the most important people in your life the mo most important person for a very long time whether it's your parents or parents or your guardian yes whatever they say nine times out of ten you're really going to listen and you're going to take that in it takes until you get older where you start to you know view the world in your own eyes and you you know you have your own point of view and all these different things to where you can kind of you know condition yourself to you know who you are truly authentically for yourself but at the same time you still have those little voices in the back of your head from your parents long ago that told you and conditioned different things in you that created that fear that anxiety that that blockage you know that a lot of people really experience mentally which is why they can't have actual real emotional connections with people okay and i'm not saying this is anyone's fault parents or you know whatever the case may be because you know just history itself it's, it's a wild thing um it's a, it's a, it's a wild thing it is and it's it's wild how, how far we have come as a nation and scientifically there are many different reasons why people hold on to trauma and you know things of that nature which we're not going to really talk about but it is up to you that if you want you know a better life not only physically but mentally and emotionally and you want to be able to connect with others and your kids and your wife or your girlfriend and things of that nature in ways that you've never even got to see your parents connect with other people well then yes you have to go in within yourself do some deep self-reflection and really begin to understand yourself first and really not, un not only understand yourself but live through those emotions and those feelings that you have been running from for years okay and sit with those emotions and those feelings no matter how bad it may get it does eventually turn a new leaf okay it does get better after a while so that you can have this deep meaning and deep understanding to understand others around you that you may care about and that you may love and that are very supportive of you i love you guys and i hope you guys take something from this video and i'll see you next time bye Thank you.